Capricorn, welcome. This is your weekend tarot reading, but it's divinely timed. So whenever it resonates, and um, it's for anyone with Capricorn in their chart. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. So let's see what energy we get for Capricorn. Capricorn. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I feel spirit wants you to kind of take the pressure off, you know, take the pressure off your connection. And don't overanalyze it, you know, or if you say like you haven't, you know, got a partner at the moment, really taking your attention off it and putting your attention on spirit within because you are spirit, you know, and, uh, to just connect with that energy inside yourself because that is love you know god is love within so um putting your energy into spirit rather than attention on love um it will just come it's just going to flow through through spirit um effortlessly without the need of your mind thinking about it um let's go into fairies energies Oh, the Piper. Now, Piper is a beautiful energy. This is very romantic, very gentle, very sensual, artistic. It's just lovely. Such a lovely vibration in this card. Um, you know, love just floats. It calls you. It it floats into your life naturally. Um, let's go a bit deeper for Capricorn. Have you on one level been sort of blocking it, you know, with, I don't know whether it's fear-based thoughts or stress energy, you know, do some healing work on any blocks. Uh, that can just even be crying. <laughs> I mean, the best form of healing work is the healing work you do yourself, where you're just purging and crying and whatever you need to do. Um, those days where you feel very unsettled and it just feels like there's lots of mixed emotions coming up. That's your healing days. That's the days where you're doing healing on yourself and you're just letting all that old energy out of your heart chakra so that you can then let it all in, you know? Um, I feel like this is what's going on for Capricorn. And, um, you know, you can sort of do different things, can't you, on those days? Um you just know that it's what it is is it's it's coming up it's just divine timing that stuff needs to be cleared out and that's your healing and you can just you can support it with you know aromatherapy oils or music um sleeping <laughs> you know anything like that really so let's go a bit deeper for you um so um oh wow <laughs> now the cards just kind of fell out right um you've got here the queen of cups reverse so it's like you have had some blockages in the heart chakra because queen of cups oh no page of cups oh page of cups that's different page of cups is um in reversed um was there something that you didn't want to see was there something where you were sort of burying your head in the sand and you couldn't admit to yourself that this relationship or a situation in your life wasn't really healthy or it wasn't really good for you. And that, I mean, that could have been even ages ago or really it's showing up as past or it could be recent past. But now there's just um, this Ten of Cups feeling reversed. I mean, um, it's like Tarot saying, no, no, uh, don't go there. Don't go there on a mental level. Don't give it any attention whatsoever um when you're looking outside of yourself either to the past or just thinking about something someone you know that is the ego rising it's not the, the true self the true spirit when you just attend to yourself look within to spirit that is the true self um it's the false self that looks at the past the outside world so don't allow it to do that uh because um 
tarot is showing that that won't make you happy, you know, um, it'd be pointless. And what you're actually heading towards is the Ace of Cups, which is new love, new friendship, um, a very sort of emotionally fulfilling time can also be the beginning of a new spiritual path or um, in something you really enjoy doing. Um, let's see what's going on for your person. So you're moving into a very beautiful energy here, Capricorn. Very beautiful. And you don't need to think about it because it's all naturally happening through spirit, through you. But the only thing you do need to do is just don't dwell on anything that brings your neg your energy down, you know. Um, and if you're already doing that, that, then that's just confirmation from spirit that that's exactly what they want you to be doing. Um, now, there's somebody connected to you who was not a giver. And also they're, they're having a tower moment, right? They either had, they've had their tower moment or they're having it right now because um, that's what they've got. Um, and... I think it's spirit is saying it's a no, you know, don't, don't think about this person um, here. They've got, don't forget, they've got their own journey. They're responsible for their own journey. And even, even they're not responsible for their own journey. It's all karmic. Spirit's responsible. Um, let's see what they're thinking. But I don't think, <laughs> I don't think we should really worry about what this person's thinking because you know, everything is divine. Everything's being looked after by spirit. Everything and everyone. Yeah, look, I don't know what to say to you. So, hmm. you've got such sensitive, beautiful, loving energy here, Capricorn. And um, just feel the energy of love. Work out any blocks that need to be let like let out released your spirit guides portal you decide doors are opening rewards a wild card doors are opening you decide rewards a wild card so you will get rewards if you look to spirit if you follow the vibration of God, love in your heart. Um, and let this person go their own divine path. Um, so, um, you know, there's, there's new love and friendship coming in here for you. And a spiritual awakening. So that's the message. Thank you for subscribing and supporting. And if you'd like a one to one tarot, I'm here. Just contact me. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of peace, wherever you are on Gaia.